So uh, it seems like we reconcile. We've uh, maybe we should test a couple items. Why don't we uh, change the um, principal loan amount to be fifty thousand? Uh, why don't we change the interest rate to be 0.08? It's nice to have a few check figures so you can make sure that your math works. That's why you want to know how to use your HP 12C so that you can mathematically verify the numbers that are spitting out of your Excel spreadsheet. And I'll put in maybe a, a loan life of 30, let's say 29 years. Now, interesting. Here, it looks like we, we have a problem. Uh, it looks like the total payments far exceed the... Um, the actual uh, payments down here. Let's see what happened. Okay, looks like that's all. I'm going to go in down, and uh, looks like I show 166,000 as the um, as the total uh, payments. And if I go home uh, and compare, it is 166,000. So it seems like my check figure is wrong. So the point I'm trying to make here is if you don't have check figures to kind of verify what you've done, uh, you'll, you'll create spreadsheets that come up with wrong answers, and that's why that check figure is so very helpful. So what you'll notice if I go F2 and cell C15, I still have the old formula from the old spreadsheet before we made these changes. So what we should do now is we should come up with a different check figure. So we have total payments here, which are algebraically computed, and we can deduct the sum of all payments down below. I'm not going to bother with this column on the far right, because I can just start here in row B20 and C20 and go end down, end down again. And what you see is I've now got a sum of rows B, of cells B20 all the way to C380. So that adds up all numbers in column B and column C and uh, deducts them from total payments because B is total interest, C is the total principal, and therefore we've got a different check figure. Okay, and uh, right here uh, we're going to, if you notice what I'm looking at here, it did not turn uh, red and yellow, so this is not an error. If, if you look at how this is uh, set up, this is e to the minus 10. Um, if I format this general, you notice that that was a very, very minor rounding difference. You know, all these rounded cause that to have a slight difference. And that's why my check figure um, will only conditionally format if it's greater than, I mean, if, it's, if the difference is less than, um, sorry, if the difference is greater than a penny, um, either side of zero. Uh, so anyway, I hope that made sense. Uh, the big idea was um, if we take these total payments algebraically and deduct all these interest and principal payments all the way down to the bottom, uh, we come up with effectively the same number uh, mathematically. You know, there's a very, very slight rounding difference, and that's why uh, if I were to increase these decimals, you might see that, oh, there it is, it's like way down. Uh, it's so minimal, it's not even worth worrying about. Um, so anyway, that's what that is. Uh, I'll go ahead and use that uh, comma style up here.